Walk down any high street and you'll almost certainly see signs like this. Up to 25% off. Stock clearance, 50% off. It's sale time and prices have been slashed with percentage discounts. In fact, it's surprising what you might find for sale. Today's Mass for Real is all about percentage increases and percentage decreases. But first, Katie and I have been challenged to see who can scoop the biggest bargain. It's a Mass for Real discount dash and we've both been given £75 to spend. The only thing is we've got to buy at least three items. Yeah, and the person who comes back with the most money off gets to keep their stash of stuff. Now we're on a real mission to get some fantastic bargains and the only thing is we've got to be back within half an hour. Okay. So, let's go. Bye! See ya. <laughs> Oh la la! <laughs> Lovely! This medallion make the bum look big. Actually, I don't care because look, there's 25% off, which means that the price has been reduced by a quarter. little time with me sometimes you just know you're gonna get a bargain look at this 50% off that means it's half the original price to work out any percentage you could of course use a calculator but who carries one of those around when you're out shopping if the numbers are simple enough you could just estimate like here what's 15% off on 49.99. Well, 49.99 is very nearly 50 pounds, which is a nice easy number. And I'm going to use a simple trick. 15% is the same as 10% plus 5%. And 10% of 50 pounds is very easy. That's 5 pounds. 5% 5 is half of that. That's 2 pounds 50. And if you add those together, you'll get 15% which is seven pounds fifty pence. So fifteen percent off on something that costs forty nine ninety nine fifty pounds is seven pounds fifty. Hurrah! It's the end of the discount dash. <laughs> We're going to find out who's going to keep their stash of stuff. I'm feeling pretty confident because I got myself this tasty little number here, this T-shirt. 60% off, was £15, now six quid. I've saved myself £9. Well, hold on, hold on, because I've got a saving here of 50% off. And the original price of this item was £70. I've actually saved... £35 on it. So just because your percentage saving was actually higher than mine, uh, you've actually only saved £9 and I've saved £35. So let's just see who's actually got the biggest savings. Okay, bring it on that man. Here we go. Okay, I started off getting myself some tasty little trainers here. Don't smell too bad either. 60 quid they were, 35% off. Now £39. I saved myself 21 squall. I'm pretty pleased with that. I've got myself a, a nice computer game. Was £40, 25% off. Now £30. That's another 10 bad boys to me. And then, of course, my lovely t shirt, which I think I might be wearing out tonight. Lovely. Was £15, 60% off. Now £6, save myself £9, which means altogether, Miss Natman, I've saved myself a tasty 40 quid. £40, can I do better than that? Sorry. I really do feel like I'm on a market stall. OK, my shoes. First of all, I bought some shoes too. Uh, my shoes were £30 to begin with, 20% off, now £24, which means I saved myself £6 on the Six shoes. Six quid? That's just the first That's item. nothing. Moving on to my CD player here, was £70. This is a huge saving, 50% off, now £35. So we're doing pretty well because... Uh, so far, we've saved £41, so I've overtaken you already. Let's just come on to my third item, which is this fabulous pink bag. That is fabulous. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Good word. Was £20, 20% 20 off, now £16, so I've saved myself £4. So my total saving in our discount dash was £45. How about that? Mm -hmm. That means you win. Yeah, that means you'd better stick with me if you want to bag yourself a bargain, Ben. Let's look at Katie's total saving in more detail. The original total cost was £120. In the sale, she paid just £75, which is a saving of 45 quid. Not bad. But what's that as a percentage change? If you get given an original price and a new price, you can calculate the percentage change by using this formula here. Percentage change equals change divided by the original multiplied by 100. Now the key to using this formula correctly is remembering to use the original total, not the total that it's changed to, not the new total. So in this case, 
The original total was £120. The change, that's the amount she saved, was £45. And if we use our calculator, 45 divided by 120 equals 0.375 times by 100 and equals 37.5 which is 37.5%. So Katie's saving of £45 is the same as a decrease of 37.5%. So far, so good. But we've only been looking at percentage decreases. Exam questions will ask you about percentage increases as well, and they won't always be about shopping and money. Exam questions could be about absolutely anything. See how you get on with this week's Tick or Trash. OK, this is the bit where Katie and I both tackle a question, but only one of us does it correctly. The other makes a deliberate mistake, and you've got a spot who makes it. You decide, do you tick it or trash it? The number of people attending a football match last week was 15,050. This week, the attendance has risen to 18,490. What's the percentage increase, giving your answer to three significant figures? Pens at the ready, go! The number of people attending a football match last week was 15,050. This week, the attendance has risen to 18,490. What's the percentage increase, giving your answer to three significant figures? The attendance started off as 15,050 and rose to 18,490. That's an increase of 18,490 minus 15,050 which equals 3,440. I use percentage change equals the change divided by the final amount multiplied by 100. The change in attendance is 3,440, and then the final amount, that's the final attendance, is 18,490, which is 3,440 divided by 18,490 multiplied by 100. Now that equals, on my calculator, 18.60465, and to three significant figures, the answer is 18.6%. Like Ben, I started by finding the actual increase in attendance, which is 3,440. I used percentage change equals the change divided by the original amount multiplied by 100. Now, the change in attendance is 3,440, and the original amount, that's the original attendance, is 15,050. 3,440 divided by 15,050 multiplied by 100 is 22.85714. To three significant figures, that's a percentage increase of 22.9%. So, whose working should you tick and whose should you trash? Was Ben right to work out 3,440 as a fraction of the final attendance? Or was Katie right to work out 3,440 as a fraction of the original attendance? OK, it was my answer that should have ended up in the trash. My mistake was to make a fraction with the final attendance figure. That was wrong. Remember, if you're asked to find a percentage change, a decrease or an increase, always divide the change by the original quantity, not the value after the change has taken place. Another way that shops give you a better deal is by giving you more for your money, like six for the price of five, 25 per cent extra free, buy three for the price of two. Now three for the price of two seems like a pretty good deal because you're getting half as much again for free, so you're getting 50 per cent extra. Isn't that a lot to give away? You've got to remember that about 60% of purchases that are made in supermarkets are made on impulse. So all the supermarkets are actually vying for your attention, trying to attract you with their special offers. Three for two is quite a common offer to make, but it's not the best that, uh, that they're making. Looking around now, we can see over here, buy one, get one free. Mm. This is what we call a bog off. A and bog this is bog off. And this is the, I suppose, the, the best offer that you could possibly expect to get. Buy one, you get 100% extra for free. Is that, is that the sort of offer that the customers tend to like most? That think? is probably the most impactful offer that you'll see anywhere. The bog off is the, the standard offer. Let's do a test. Here are two offers straight from the shelves. Yeah. This one's six for five. 
and this one's 20% extra free. Which do you think offers the best value? I think it's that one. I think this is the six for five, definitely. Do you reckon? Yeah. Well, to check who's right, we're going to need to find out how much more you're getting for your money when you pay for five, but you get six. So we need to find out the percentage increase. Right. We'll put your beef down and we can do it. We can use the same formula as before. Percentage change equals change divided by original multiplied by 100. On a six for five deal, the change is one and the original is five. 1 divided by 5 multiplied by 100 is 20%. So 6 for 5 is the same as 20% extra. They are both the same. Does that mean we were both right? Or, or both we, wrong? Yeah. Um, well, I'm pretty sure I was more right than you were. So, how much free stuff can you get given an empty trolley? And a limited amount of time. We've got just 30 seconds to find as many extra free deals as possible. Mathematically speaking, we're talking about any offer that involves a percentage increase. So, let's go! Come on. Well, that's the dash done. I wonder what we got for free. To work it out exactly, we need to do some maths. This packet of biscuits has 20% extra free, but just how many more biscuits are you getting in the offer? Well, to work that out, you need to know how many biscuits there were in the original non-offer packet. There are 24 biscuits in this offer packet, and 20% extra free means that you're getting 20% more than you were in the original packet. So the offer packet is 120%. Now, going on from there, you need to work out what 1% is. So if 120% is 24, that's the number of biscuits, then 1% is 24 divided by 120. And the answer to that is 0.2. So to work out what 100% is, you need to multiply that by 100, and the answer is 20. <laughs> so in the original packet, there were 20 biscuits. In the offer packet, there are 24, and that means you're getting four more biscuits if you decide to buy the offer pack. Here's another little cheeky one for you. This bottle is offering us an extra 15% of shampoo, but how much are we actually getting for free? Now, as you can see, this bottle with the offer contains 150 millilitres. Now, you need to think of the original package without the offer as being 100%, and with the offer as being 115%. That honey luck loops, I'll take them. That was two for one with some crisps. Crisp right. I'll have uh, how many three bags of crisps. Ben, what are you doing? And where's my chocolate biscuit? What are you doing? I'm just getting all the free stuff, Casey. It's not free. Of course it is. It's so free on here. You've got to buy the other stuff that goes with it. But it's just free there. No, no, no. You've got to put it all back. And what's this? It's my shampoo. Can't I keep my shampoo? Oh God, oh, you need it. Your hair's looking awful. But you've got to put that back too. This is awful, Ben. You can't have all this stuff. You don't get nothing for free these days. <gasps>